that is the Capo Studio green screen wall. That's where most of my videos are filmed and that's where we will begin. As you can see behind me, the green screen spans almost the entire width of the wall. I believe it's 10 foot by 14 foot. I got this off Amazon for probably $13 or something like that. Since several of you that are watching are trying to run your own YouTube channels, I thought I'd share some of the gear that I use on a regular basis to make my videos, maybe to give you some ideas of what you could use in the future or now. First off, this lovely card table here is on loan from my grandmother or my mother. I'm not quite sure who it belongs to, and it's proved pretty useful, so I may need to buy one of these for myself. First and foremost, essential reading for anyone that wants to make YouTube videos or any videos at all, How to Shoot Video That Doesn't Suck by Steve Stockman. This is probably the best book that I have ever read, ever seen on making videos. A key principle of shooting video that doesn't suck is having decent audio quality, since audio is half the battle. I use a Zoom H1 regularly now to record my vocals. In fact, I'm using it right now, as you can see, it's recording. It's going into a lavalier mic that is attached to my shirt. I've also got another Zoom audio recorder, the Zoom H6. This one features four XLR inputs for professional audio mics as well as interchangeable microphone heads for achieving different effects. Cameras. This is what I started with. A very simple Canon Vixia HFR50. I paid about $160 refurbished on Canon's website for this. But now you can get it for as little as 100 bucks refurbished. Flip out screen. Built-in lens. Shoots HD video up to 60 frames a second. Decent battery life. Cheap. If you want to start out, you don't need to go expensive. Get something cheap. Here's the second camera that I started out with. A Canon L500HS. This also shoots HD video, I believe up to 30 frames a second. And believe it or not, I found this at Goodwill for $10 in the box with all the cables, manuals, software, everything. And it works fine, except the flash is broken. That's the only reason someone threw it out. But now it's mine. 10 bucks, works great. And this here is my main camera that I use now for just about every single video. It is a JVC HM170. I bought this because I am planning on starting my own videography business. And this thing is amazing. It shoots 4K video, has all the manual controls on the side that you could ever need two card slots, manual focus, a nice little handle with two XLR inputs. This thing is great, but there's no need for this if you're just shooting YouTube videos. Mini tripods and selfie stick. These are great for getting low angle shots or just setting up a camera. For example, on the cookie challenge, setting up this camera on the closet door overhead, get an interesting angle. And this I got on clearance at Target for $7.50, regularly $25. Very sturdy, nice ball head mount. Look at that, okay. But what I really wanted to show you was this little guy. Selfie stick with detachable threading on the top here. And you can buy this with this little cell phone adapter for $5 at Five Below. That's where I got this one. But now even the dollar store is selling selfie sticks with this detachable thingy here. Even better, just starting out, you can get this little tripod at Walmart for 10 bucks. You can spend a dollar on a selfie stick to get this attachment. Stick this puppy on there, and then put your cell phone in here, set the tripod somewhere so you can get nice non-shaky video. People like non-shaky video. They don't like shaky video. Okay, so that's my tip for today. Now these lights, these studio lights that you see here, those are another Amazon purchase. They were, I believe, $50 for a set of three. It came with the stands, came with the umbrellas, came with this little guy to use as a background light. And then as supplemental light, I'm using this crazy squiggly lamp with only two LED bulbs in it. And there's a mirror with my shoes in the, in the shot. And then I've also got this nice LED light that I use to light my back. 
or the background. If needed, I put it on an old camera tripod and uh, it sits in the corner there. This is another small LED light that I bought when I was first beginning. I tried to combo it with this camera, but this thing isn't very powerful. I mean, it's good for up close stuff. You see detachable face plates, which is pretty cool. So I sometimes use this as a little accent light, but it doesn't get as much use as this bigger one that I'm going to show you. Now this LED light is still just as cheap as that smaller one I just showed you, but this one includes detachable battery. You can use an old Sony camera battery for this thing. Rechargeable, has a battery indicator here on the back and adjustable light dial. Look how bright this thing gets, it's crazy. And I use this to film, or not to film, I use this as the backlight in most of my videos to give some uh, extra depth. There you go, a quick overview of the Capo Studio. If you have any questions about the things that you saw or didn't see, leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, see you later. Bye.